time to chill out using a differential equation. And here we have x squared plus y squared all times dx plus x squared minus xy all times dy equal to zero. And what we want to do here is turn this into a more palatable form. And for that, I should write this as x squared plus y squared plus x squared minus xy all times dy by dx being equal to zero. And next up, what I can do here is I can factor out this x squared term. So factoring out the x squared gives me x squared times 1 plus y squared divided by x squared plus 1 minus y divided by x times dy by dx equal to 0. So we have the product product of a couple of terms being equal to zero. So that means either one or both of them are equal to zero. And the first case of x squared being equal to zero is the boring case. So we're gonna lose that in our solution development, but it's more interesting to consider the case where one plus y squared by x squared times dy by, oh, sorry about that, it was the other term, times dy by dx plus one minus y by x, dy by dx equals zero, and we lose the solution of x being equal to zero. So the structure here is quite nice for a substitution, where we let y by x equal to u. Now, this here implies that y equals, oh, sorry about that, that's an evil looking y over there. Okay, cool. So this implies that y equals x times u. And on differentiation with respect to y, we have dy by dx, again, the evil looking y. Why so evil? Okay, cool. So we have dy by dx being equal to du by dx times x plus u. And this substitution, moving from the y and x world to the x and u world, makes our job much simpler. It implies that you have 1 plus u squared plus 1 minus u all times x du by dx plus u, and this here equals zero. So some rearrangement is in order. That means we have x times du by dx plus u being equal to negative one plus u squared divided by one minus u. And of course you can get rid of the negative sign by switching up the order of one and u in the denominator of the right hand side. And things are looking good so far. So all you should do now is just take this u term to the right hand side, which implies that x times du by dx equals one plus u squared divided by u minus one plus u. Uh, sorry about that, it's a negative u. And on simplification, you have one plus u squared minus u squared plus u divided by u minus one. So the u squares cancel out quite nicely. And notice that you now have a very simple and sweet separable differential equation in u and x. So writing this as u minus one divided by u plus one du being equal to one by x dx and integrating with respect to the variables on either side, that gives you log x plus the constant of integration on the right hand side and on the left hand side you can perform some trickery with the numerator here by writing it as u plus 1 minus 2 divided by u plus 1 and on separating the terms in the numerator we get the integral of 1 minus 2 divided by u plus 1 du being equal to log x plus c so on the left hand side, we have quite trivially u minus twice the logarithm of u plus one being equal to the, uh, the natural logarithm of x plus c. And this here is the solution in the u world, but recall that we were in the x and y world. So we recall that we let u be equal to y by x. So playtime is over for you and 
we're about to go back into the y world and this implies that we have y by x minus twice the logarithm of 1 plus y by x and of course you can use the properties of the logarithm and just write this as uh, log 1 plus y by x squared being equal to the natural logarithm of x plus c and that is the implicit solution to your differential equation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.